Well, good morning, my YouTube friends. It's Margaret again from Emmy's Orchids, and uh, I'll just switch the kitchen light on. I don't know whether that uh, will make any difference to the brightness. Um, and what am I going to do today? Um, you can see this uh, Phalaenopsis here. That uh, it's called Pulsation. Uh, it's just a hybrid one, and if you remember. I'm just going to try and bring this a little bit nearer for you. Um, this is um, one of those I acquired last year. And uh, can you just see the roots growing there? And I just put it in this vase here with just some uh, decorative gravel. And um, you'll see there's no water actually in there today. So it's actually used up all the water. And uh, But it's, it's doing wonderfully well, this one is. Um, and what I'm going to do later, I will uh, actually just um, pour some water down there just to hydrate the bottom of the roots. And if I just put this on one side now, you'll see here I've got three different type of vases. They're all glass ones. This one acquired yesterday from a charity shop, which was only £2. I quite like that one. And uh, this is one which is a much deeper one and I've had that for quite a while. So I'm going to just put these on one side for the moment because they are cleaned and uh, I don't want to, uh, I don't want to smash them. So let's just put them to one side. Now some of the orchids that I've got, um, if you remember this big one, this is the big white one that initially sent um, its primary inflorescence out in um, October 2016 and he's had a beautiful cascading, that was the original one, cascading uh, white flowers and it didn't finish flowering. Um, it went through all 2017 and then um, on the secondary spike here. But I didn't actually cut all the secondary spike off. I just thought, well, I'll give it another chance. And uh, can you see there? I've uh, got another flower starting. And this one's in this open kind of plastic container with the decorative gravel. Sorry, I didn't know there was in focus there. And um, she sits on a tray and she gets quite hydrated. And I can actually control, I can see the roots. You'll see there, a green one there. So she's not actually ready to be watered, probably at the weekend. And um, so, but when they are in decorative gravel, here's another one, if I show you this one. I don't know whether I can show you this one. Let me just see whether I can tip her. This one here. This is also, but this is in a clay pot. It's had its primary branch there cut. And this is the secondary branch. And you'll see she's got another little uh, nubbin developing there. Uh, and this is in this one. The only thing is, I, I do find with the um, ceramic pots, with the decorative gravel and the ceramic pots, they're very heavy when I want to lift them down to water them. Uh, and especially this big one, let me show you this big one now. Can you see this big, this big one here? Now, this is really heavy because it's full of decorative gravel. So what I've had to do this morning, I've had to, this lovely root last year developed and it had lovely green tips. And the, the green tips stopped and I've hydrated her this morning. I've actually managed to loosen that, that root away from this pot. And what I need to do now is empty this and I want to put this one, um, which is one of the three sisters as I call them. This is another big white one. 
and this one went through the mill. But she's come back fine, she's, she's absolutely fine. So what I'm going to do now, they're too heavy for me. As I'm getting older, um, I don't seem to be uh, have the strength, the same strength in my hands as I used to. So I'm going to empty. What I'm trying to do is make sure that I'm still in focus. I'm trying to empty. Yes, excuse the noise. And see whether she'll come away. And she's come away wonderfully. So let's just have a look at her roots now. Look at those roots, they've been hydrated this morning. These white ones are of course because um, they've not seen any daylight at all. There's nothing in the middle. And we see, absolutely nothing in the middle. She's still got some of the original bark on her. She's maybe just got the odd little root that needs just just trimming off. There's nothing underneath there to suggest that I need to interfere with her roots at all. So I'm really chuffed with this one. Just let, I've got my scissors here. And the all I'm going to do with this one is just take that back a bit. And I've taken it back and you can see the green in there. There's just a little one, I don't know that you can see whether I'm in focus, that little bit there. So let's take that one. So that one's gone. You'll see there's, there's a bit of dead there. But uh, th that's fine. The rest of it is absolutely wonderful. And, and what I'm going to do now is I'm going to try and push this gravel away and see which vase she'll fit in. Excuse about the noise. So she's got quite a bulky root system and let's just have a look let's bring the vase I'll bring the vase over one at a time and see which one she'll fit in there we go now will she go in this one because she will cascade over and let me just see whether or not those roots will actually go any further down. Now, I'm not wanting to put too much pressure on her because I don't want these roots to break off at all. She does look quite nice there, although she's not stable. And she's not stable because she's got this big area here. So maybe we won't put her in that vase. So let's try the next vase. Now this is the big vase. And let's just see. Whether she'll. Let's just have a look whether those roots will go down. There. Can you see? Now, those roots, especially that one there, this one here. Um, that would do fine because I can put some I've got some um, here I've got some lava rock and some pea shingle and some hydrogen balls and I can just put that at the bottom 
Now that is quite a nice vase for that one to go in and it wouldn't matter so much she's got this arrow root here at the back and I can actually put that arrow root I can tuck her in let's just tuck that arrow root in there that's going to do no harm because the water level wouldn't come up to, uh, to actually affect that at all so that's quite a good vase for that one and I'll just take her out at the moment because I want to bring the other vase and just try the other vase as well. Right, so this is the jug that I got yesterday. And uh, let's see how she fares in this one. Now she's going to be a lot tighter fit in this one because it's a lot smaller. So let's see whether she'll go and whether she'll fit in this one. We don't want her that way around, so let's pull her out and just see whether that made me jump, that did. There. There's the the lip of the vase. There's all the roots and there's her aerial roots there and she's she's really very very snug in there and when I want to water her I just pick her up. So actually I think that one's going to make for this moment in time I think this will be the best vase for her to go in. So what I'll do now is just gently lift her out. I'm just going to put a little bit of this in the bottom, not a lot. Just enough to uh, Allow those roots to mingle down there. Okay, let's gently lift her up now. I want the um, the middle there facing the the uh, spout area there. So let's just gently manoeuvre her down. And of course, I wouldn't be able to do this, excuse me, I wouldn't be able to do this at all if I hadn't hydrated those roots. Right, let me just, she's got a little bit of, I don't know that I can get it in there. She's just got a little bit of sphagnum moss there. And let's just see if I can manoeuvre it. Round. So she sits. There we go. I want her to be very firm with her roots, but also look to look aesthetically pleasing. Let me just maneuver around a little bit. Let's see what I can do just to wedge her a little bit better. just do with it being more once to one side and I don't think I'm going to be able to do that. I'll just see if she's got enough. There we go. She's not going to fall out, she's anchored in and uh, she's got plenty of room now. I think there's enough decorative gravel just at the bottom. She's got some of the other, either bark or um, decorative gravel attached to her roots there. And uh, she can't fall out. 
that was the uh, the other aerial route which I could just but I won't because that is you know that's become now an aerial route and I don't really want to put that inside anyway so she's fine now I'll keep you uh, informed of her progress. I'm not expecting any of die back of the roots because I actually will not um, introduce any water probably higher than this route anyway. Um, finally I wanted to just bring this Phalaenopsis and uh, just to check on her. She's in a rescue mode as you can see and uh, she's got this new leaf. She's got this leaf that's always been bent over. She's really, in some regard, you'd think well is she worth saving? But what I want to do is I just want to look at her, her root. She's been in this decorative gravel in this plastic pot and she is trying to pass, uh, to, sorry, to, um, to grow a new root there. So just let me just take her out. Will you bear with me a minute? Right. Now, look at that. She's got hardly any roots. I'm going to, and she was in, um, she was in some hydrogen, sorry, some um, peanuts, some bark, and some decorative gravel. So I'm going to cut these now. I'm going to cut off what I can because these these won't achieve anything. I'll just take the ones that I know are completely desiccated. Let me just see how I can. There we go. That one's gone. Let me just see the, the roots get tangled around one another. That's another one there. That's gone. And there's this big long thing here and that's gone. So that's all she's left with. That's all we've got. And uh, let's just cut that away there. If I can cut it away without damaging any more roots. Right, that's, so that's all she's got. Now, these are the glass vases are going to be far too big. I can't put her in any of those. But what I can do, I've got a little plastic container here. And uh, that uh, peanut's gone. So what I can do, I can either potter up in bark or I can potter up in some um, Hydrogen, uh, lava rock, and decorative. Now, I think that at one time might have been an aerial route, but that's all she's got. So, what I'm going to try and do that might have been an aerial route, but like you can see now, it's become a route that's been submerged because it's managed to. Um, send out two side shoots there. I don't want to come, you know, to give up on her yet. Um, I like to give them a chance. Just bear with me a minute, let me cut this off here. Let me just see how she'll fit into this pot here. Let's just have a look. I 
think she'll be fine. So what I'm going to do is put a few of these peanuts at the bottom. Just put a little bit of bark now. Let's just see whether I can get her in there without actually damaging the roots. The only way you can do that is you have to try and wrap the roots around like that. It's a bit fiddly because the roots are already snapped, they snap there. But there's no other way I'm going to get it down into that pot. Can you see what I mean? There we go. And she's still got that little aerial root coming up there. Let's bring her out so she can... There. There's the root. That viable root. There's the other viable root there. And... Uh, there's some bark, so I'm just going to fill her up with this bark now. Because she was used to the bark, and uh, by, by putting the bark around her roots, unlike the decorative gravel, the, um, the bark won't damage her roots. The decorative gravel um, can be a bit, a little bit damaging on the roots while you're trying to uh, manoeuvre it round. Right, let's just bring it back a little bit there. I can focus. It's just a case of picking bits of root and putting it, sorry, bits of bark and putting it round our roots. Now we've got a, a dull and dreary day here in Crewe. Um, yesterday was absolutely lovely and uh, we had sunshine and I actually drove home from work last night without having to put the car lights on. So that uh, that was wonderful. Now, next week, well, beginning on Saturday, um, our weather's going to change and we're going to have weather which comes from Russia. And um, that's an easterly. And although the, night, the days are going to be lovely, uh, the easterly winds, we're going to have lovely bright days. But the wind chill factor. We're going to have to wrap up next week. So even though we believe spring is not too far away, and it isn't too far away because the frogs are in the pond. And that's one of our first indicators for spring. Is we've got the frogs visiting the pond. Now they never visit the pond unless spring is on its way. I think we're nearly done now. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to pick the camera up. There we go. Can we see? Those are the live roots. That's the other one. Just tip, you're just peeping through there. And uh, I don't know what I'm going to do with that leaf there, but she's nice and secure in there. I don't want to uh, 
push that to medium down too deep. You see that one? That's the new root. Now you see that's going to come up. Can you see it's going to come up and it'll probably come up and come out and and that'll be another air root back again. So uh, if you just bear with me a minute. She's very dehydrated. She will lose this leaf because that's one of the old leaves. She will lose that leaf because that's one of the old leaves. Um, but I think uh, she's got a fighting chance, this one. And if you'll just bear with me a minute now. There we go. What I want you to do is... Um, excuse the rattling, you see... Uh, oh, sorry about that. I don't know whether you'll actually ever... You can see the... The roots under there. Can you see how they've travelled underneath the uh, decorative gravel? This is the one that's uh, in this vase here. So the uh, so I've repotted those two now. I've still got some vases that I can put some more phalaenopsis in, and uh, there's that one with its new root there as well. As you can see outside, you won't be able to see the frogs. And if I could just move this, uh, this Phalaenopsis off the windowsill. Can you just see there? Just tucked there by the window. That's the new water butt. So I shall uh, be able to collect rainwater now for uh, all the orchids. So it's only a very quick video today. As I say, I wanted to um, move some of these uh, phalaenopsis out of decorative gravel uh, because um, that with the pot and all the decorative gravel is just getting too heavy for me to hold. And uh, I think she fits quite snug in that one. Of course, that's the other one. And uh, she's got that new root developing. Sorry, new uh, flower inflorescence. She'll stay in there, and that one. So it's just a quick video today, and I'm glad you could join me. So from me to you, take care, and we'll speak soon. Bye-bye now.